Hi boys and girls, I was just trying to make some fun shapes that we are going to work on today. Boys and girls, did you have time to be outside yesterday or this morning? Very good. I see so many signs of spring now. And boys and girls, I'm so excited. In my willow, I finally fall of green leaves. And I have my cardinal couple already coming into it and they were exploring it yesterday and I know they will soon start building their nest. I have a female cardinal which is a brown color and then we have a male cardinal which is the red one. And you know what I love? That I wake up now every morning hearing their song and their chirping. That makes me so happy and that makes me feel that spring is almost here and make my heart full of hope and cheerfulness. Boys and girls, today we're going to be doing some engineering thinking. Are you ready? Good job. Boys and girls, do you remember what is the stronger shape that we have? Oh my goodness, you guys are so smart. Yes, the stronger shapes that it is is a triangle and today we're going to build a triangle paper for building so we're going to make our own triangle building blocks are you excited i am boys and girls for this activity you're going to need a couple of materials but one of them is the most important and today you're going to use a ruler do you see the shape of my ruler yes it's a rectangle so you're going to have need a ruler you're going to need a marker, children's scissors, I have big scissors, tape, and that's it. That's all you're going to need. So boys and girls, I hope you can see here, I have built already a structure with my triangles. So part of your engineering data collection for today, where you're going to collect in a piece of paper, is to try to see how strong your structure can be when we build it with our paper triangles, okay? So you can use different things to measure how strong it is. So for example, you have my structure here. I can measure if you can hold a pencil. Do you think they can? Yes, it's very strong. So you can add it and then build it as tall as you want and as, as wide as you want. And maybe you can know, you can do actually, make a little structure like a parking lot and see if that can hold your cars as well. So I want you to be creative. So I'm gonna put this one here and we're going to start. For this activity, we're gonna make all our triangle blocks the same way because we're gonna use them for building. So I'm gonna hold this here. I hope you can see the measurements. And you're gonna do a with your ruler, you're gonna measure 15 centimeters for how long you want to do it. Then, as you see here in my little lines that I have highlighted, I did five centimeters here and five centimeters there. And the width is gonna be three centimeters, which in my case is the width of my ruler. So if I put my ruler like this, okay? So that's the measurement. So I'm gonna put it here for a few more seconds. You can ask mom or dad to help you and you can pause and you can write it down. I hope you got this. So what I'm gonna do normally, what I will tell my kindergarten in the classroom is we cut one already measured because it's easier to measure everything else. So we're gonna start with a regular paper. This is just a regular paper, just the different things it's not a construction paper, but it's a printer paper with color. It's, and it's not a star, um, like a car stock either. So I'm gonna move these ones here. Can you see? I'm gonna put my measurement guide right here. Can you see it? Very good. So boys and girls, what you're gonna do, you're gonna hold it. Sorry, I should have this open already and you're gonna measure so you're gonna go so the best thing is you can use a little cardboard a cereal box cardboard to do this like a special ruler because this you can keep 
because then you can keep adding to your collection of triangle blocks for the future. Try to stay very close to the edge because I want them to be the same size. So after you complete as many as you want, like it would be great if you can make sure you use your whole paper so you don't waste paper. I always tell my student paper is very precious. Next, what are you going to do? You're going to cut. So I'm going to get my big people scissors, but please, boys and girls, use your little scissors because they have safety, pen, safety points. And also, I'm going to remind you, two fingers, so we make bunny ears, we put it here, and then we give a thumbs up, and then we put it. We hide these two fingers, and then we go up and down, up and down. So boys and girls, I don't move my scissor this way, so I don't reach you. What I do, I always just move my paper. So as you see, I'm moving my paper close to me. I'm gonna use my scissors, the same idea, and I'm gonna cut my lines. Keep, if you're not gonna use your whole paper, keep it, because then we can use it for so many other things. Then I'm gonna cut again all my lines that went all the way there thank you Tara. my daughter is helping me today and i'm gonna have this one here when i have already my paper cut as you see here now i'm gonna take my card and i'm gonna measure five centimeters for one end and then i do the next one so i'm gonna teach you a trick that i teach my daughter I'm gonna put my ruler, I hope you can see it. And I have zero. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna count by five. So I get my marker and I go zero, five, 10, 15. I'm gonna get my ruler again and I'm gonna make a line. Because a triangle in this case that made of equal sizes. There you have. Then you're gonna fold, make sure you go to the next line, you open and you fold again. As you see, I'm touching this line. You see it well, boys and girls? When you have this, looks like a table, <laughs> you're gonna put your ends together and what shape are we making triangle so then you're gonna get your tape and you're gonna connect so what i like to do here i like to connect them well then i close and then i pinch all the tips like this and then it's ready so i had made different colors of blocks so you can use your blocks in any way you want. So let's go make another one. So we can review again the instructions. I cut my 15 centimeters stripe, and then I'm gonna count my five centimeters from the edge. I'm gonna count about five. Five, what comes after? 10, what comes after 10? 15, very good, because we counted by five. And I fold. You make your line and you fold in your line. So as you see, boys and girls, when I fold here, this touch right my dot on my line. Okay, so we have five centimeters here, five centimeters and five. It's gonna count by five again. Five, 10, 15. So now I know I'm doing the right. And again, I connect those two edges, the two tips, and close. And as you see, it's a little wrong here, so you have to pinch this down, and then voila. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning, if you have all birthday cards, Christmas cards, congratulation cards, and your mom 
and that's it that's okay for you to recycle them what are you going to do you're going to open your card and you are going to make a line on the folding part so as you see here boys and girls if i close my card that's my folding part now i'm gonna look at my ruler and i go five ten so i'm gonna mark in my ten here that I have there i'm gonna put it on the line that i just marked so i hope you can see this let me lift the paper so i'm putting the ten on the line i hope that right there okay and now we're gonna measure 15 because that is the magical number for our blocks. So again, the width is three centimeters, which is exactly the width of my ruler. So I'm gonna go from five to 15. And I'm gonna make a line again, nice and straight, and another line. So as you see, I'm gonna have a little edge here that I don't, I'm not going to use. When you have done this, after you have finished this part, you're gonna take your ruler again and you're gonna go to five. So again, we put the line on zero and we're gonna mark on five. Can you see that? So I'm gonna get my ruler and I'm gonna do a little dot for my five. I have it there. And then again, that's my dot and I'm gonna make my straight light. So now I know this part I'm not gonna use, and this little edge I'm not gonna use. So what we're gonna do, we make more lines. So I'm gonna get my ruler, which I know is three centimeter in width, and I'm gonna make different stripes for my amazing paper triangle blocks. Which is interesting, boys and girls, that because we know triangles are very, very strong shape, that I know I can use them to build. So again, I'm gonna cut this part. Now, you are not going to throw this part. You're gonna cut in half, and you're gonna keep it because these papers are the one who's gonna support your structure when you put them together with the triangle. Then I'm gonna cut this little part here, that which I'm not gonna use either. Still can use maybe for later. And here we are. So boys and girls, don't forget, we curl our fingers and we move our scissors. And I know my, boy, my boys and girls in my kindergarten have been practicing cutting with scissors. It's very important. And do you know when you cut with scissors, actually you're practicing your eye and your hand coordination? Cool, right? After when you have cut your pieces and you have marked, we do the same process and we fold again. And again, I take my piece of tape, put it there, we connect and we tape. Pinch down, perfect triangles. You can finish them all, but now I wanna challenge you. When you build these blocks, building triangle blocks, and you're gonna use them to build something, you can do a pattern. So I want you to challenge your mind. So boys and girls, I'm gonna show you an A, B pattern and you're gonna help me to continue. You ready? Orange, blue, what comes after? Orange, next blue very good then you're gonna put your paper on top here i'm gonna put two papers because it's long and i can build a second pattern purple peach color what will come after purple so you can build like this now i have another little challenge for all of you you can write letters on your blocks and build words. So I have already prepared a few here. 
So, what letter is this? C. What letter is this? A. Hmm. What letter is this? T. So, as you see, I use my blocks to build the word cat. So, you can use it for spelling. Now, it's somebody special day coming up very soon. And this is mom. And we're going to write the word mom. M O M is mom. So you can challenge yourself and challenge your family members to do words. Now, you can do in each side, you have three sides to do different letters. Or, I'm going to put this one just like this. You can use them for numbers. So I did one, two, and three. And this is going to be an addition game. So I'm going to get my card. And I'm going to say one plus two equals. Good job, three. So there you have it. You can use your blocks for building and see how strong your building can be. I'm going to add it together again. Boys and girls, do you think if I put my blocks like this and I add a piece of paper and I add a few more blocks, how high can I build it? Hmm, interesting. I'm trying to put up blue one. go high. So there we have boys and girls. Very easy activity to make. You make your pattern so you can keep it. Then keep your blocks in a safe place. Don't waste them. You can use it for many different things. You can use it with your Legos, with your little creatures. You can make a zoo. You can make a house, anything you want. But I want you to explore how strong you can make your building, your structure. Also, you can use it for writing or for math. So, boys and girls, I hope you will have a great day today. And before I go, boys and girls, please don't forget to say thanks to mom and dad because they are making sure that you have a great time and learning as well. So listen to your parents, love them, and be helpful. Clean up after yourself. And also, love yourself. Bye, boys and girls. See you tomorrow.